Today we're going to be going over how to open up the Bobershell Signature Series drums from Room Sound as a multi-out instrument in Cubase. And the very first thing that we're going to need to do is go to our VST instruments and we're going to load up a instance of contact. And from there we're going to load up the Bobershell Signature Series multi-output preset. And that comes with the plugin when you buy it. Let's just keep in mind that we're not going to be using any of these outputs that are set by the plugin's preset. And the reason for that is that Cubase makes it sends from VST instruments. The first four are automatically going to be these uh, stereo auxes. And these auxes are stereo no matter what. They come out as a stereo track. You can't output aux one left and aux one right. They're just a stereo track. And so because of that, we're going to use it for the stereo tracks coming out of this plugin, like the rooms, the overheads, the reverbs. That's what we're going to use those for, and we're going to use the unassigned outputs, the mono outputs, for the mono things like the kick and the snare. And the reason for this is that if we sent the kick to aux one left, which we'd have to send it to left or right because they're stereo, you would have the kick popping up on the left side or the right side, whichever one you sent it to. And we don't need that. We need mono. We need right down the center for a kick drum. So how we're going to do that is we're going to set all of these outputs to zero. And the way we do that is just hit not connected on all of them. The mains, the rooms, the reverbs, everything gets set to not connected. And once you've done this for all of these tracks, really quick and easy preset, you can just hit zero outputs and you just save, you save what you have here as a preset. And then from there, you can use that for other contact instruments. Very useful preset to have. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to route our rooms. For me, since we only have four stereo auxes, it makes more sense to me to do the three rooms and the reverb as our stereo auxes and have the overheads as an overhead left and right than it would to do any other combination. Any other combination is up to you, but that's just what makes sense for me, so that's what we're going to do. So aux 1, 1 means left. Aux 1, 2 means right. We're going to set that up for room 1. We're going to do the same for room 2 with aux 2, left and right. Aux three going from uh, room three going to aux three left and right and the reverbs going to aux four left and right. So now that those are set, we have our four auxes set up and we're going to start with our unassigned outputs. The unassigned outputs are all mono and there's 14 channels between kick in one and the mono overhead. So we're going to be going through unassigned one through 14 and you're going to get all the way to the end there. And again, once you're done with that, save it as a preset just to save yourself some time in the future. You can do this with other contact instruments. Uh, they're just useful presets to have and use. So we're done in here for now. We're going to go over to our VST instrument, and we're going to set all of these outputs to active. Since we used unassigned 1 through 14, we're going to go up to 14. Go all the way down here. Keep going until we've hit 14. And those are all the outputs that we're going to be using for the Bober Shell drums. And as you can see, they've popped up down here in our mixer window. We can see those. We can put inserts on them. We can do whatever we need to them. But we can't see them in the project window. And the way to do that is to just show your automation channels because that's technically what they are coming off of the contact instrument. And now we have them all set up right here. And we'll start to label them the way that we had them labeled inside contacts. We had room one for aux one room two, room three, and then reverb. And the way that we can check these just to make sure that they're coming out of the right output is I'm just gonna solo these guys. I'm gonna open up our contact instrument. I'm gonna head over to the mixer. And, ooh, actually we're gonna need some drums. Let's get a good groove going. Let's do the hats. Uh, let's see, dun beat, sky beat, fly beat, disco beat, heavy back beat. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Sounds great. We're going to drag that in there. So now that MIDI is in a track down here and it should be feeding our instrument. Let's just double check. Probably should have the MIDI on. All right, great. So from there, we're just going to double check and see if we're actually producing sound. Coming through. And a way to make sure that your output is going to the right section is we're gonna open up the instrument right here. We're gonna head over to the mixer. We're gonna bring all the rooms all the way down and just start and make sure that if we turn up the volume on room one, it goes to room one. 
And there you go. And you can make sure it's routed to the right side by going all the way to the left. Only coming out of the left. Let's go all the way to the right. Only coming out of the right. Just kind of a quick and easy way to make sure you're routed the right way. And then from there, we can solo the reverb and make sure we're sending over there. Send it from room two. And we're coming out of the reverb fader there. And then we can also double check the kicks. So let's just, so, so remember we set our kick drum. It's output as unassigned 11, uh, sorry, output 11, which is unassigned one. Unassigned one is right here. So if we solo that, that's our kick in one. And we can label that right here on the project window. And we had our unassigns in order of the tracks. So this will be kick in one. This is kick in two. This is kick out. And so on and so forth. And that's it. Now you have the Bo Burchell Signature Series drums multi-output into your DAW ready to mix with. Thanks for watching, guys.